Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, if you find this video helpful or you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button before you go and maybe leave a comment. It really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page. We can check out the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is by a company called Downy Paws, and it is the Fur Faucet, which is an automatic um, cat fount water fountain here. This is the box it's going to come in once you order it, and this thing is pretty cool and it's kind of unique because it is all battery powered. So once you open it up, let's go over what you're going to get. First, you're going to get an instruction manual, which is easy to read, but we're going to cover all the little details. You are going to get a USB to USB type C charging cable, which you're going to use to charge up the battery. They do clean, include a little cleaning brush here to uh, help clean the pump. Then they're going to include a little filter pack here. And then of course you're going to get the fountain itself. So here is what that looks like right here. Now this fountain can hold 2.5 uh, liters of water. And as you can see, there's a measurement uh, right here in the front. I typically fill it up halfway, but if you have multiple cats, this is kind of nice because you can fill it up all the way. It holds a ton of water. Um, and then right here at the top is the battery component. So how you take this out is there's two little buttons. You just press those on the side and it just slides right on out. So right here on the bottom, the two sides is where it gets its basically contacts for the power and in the middle is where it uh, hooks up to the pump mechanism and then on the back is this little uh, rubber door here that you're going to pop open and that is where you're going to plug in the USB type C charging cable uh, and then up here at the top you'll see a little battery symbol that is going to be blinking blue when it's charging when it is full it will turn solid. Um, now, also on the top, you'll see right there in the middle is the power button. And then over here, you're going to have um, basically the continuous mode, uh, which will run nonstop as long as it views a some movement in the motion sensor here. So it has this motion sensor to conserve battery power. And this is going to work up to five feet away from the device, and it has a 120 degree viewpoint. Um, then on the other side, you will see a little clock button. Now that mode is going to run the water fountain in intermediate mode. So every 20 seconds, it's going to uh, run every 20 seconds in a 15 minute um, burst kind of thing. Uh, I don't really use that because the time mode, you got to wait for your cat to just happen to be there. I, to me, the timing mode doesn't really make sense. Um, the motion sensor mode makes more sense to me. Now, as far as the battery life, this does have a 4000 mAh battery, um, which is going to last approximately around a month, 30 days. And that's but that's going to depend on how often this motion sensor is going and how often the, it's basically being triggered. Now, um, kind of show you this, you can see right here, everything is connected. This is the pump, uh, there's a wire, so everything is connected and sealed, which is nice because you don't have electrical wires going in here um, that are basically that you're removing. Everything is sealed and closed. Now, with that said, uh, you can pull this off to clean it with the brush if you want. Um, it does make it a little bit trickier cleaning things out. And there is a little um, sponge part right here just to catch any um, larger particulates that may end up in the reservoir. So you may want to clean this. Now, right here in the front is where this little guy is going to slide in. Um, and I can kind of maybe show this here without uh, tipping too much. Um, but the oddity I will find of the filter itself. So the water is going to come down and drip on this and then kind of fall through these two little holes here. So it does somewhat go through the filter, um, but it doesn't go, you know, sometimes the water, it's not going to go through all three little chambers there, which I noticed. So that's kind of just a unique uh, design. It's not going to hit all three chambers. Uh, so that's just kind of an oddity to me, but no big deal as far as that. All right. So to turn this on, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the power button. 
and then it will light up. And so now this is on the motion sensor mode. And as you saw, it quickly turns out, turns on and starts filling up the little reservoir here. This is great. If you have a cat that loves to drink out of the faucet in the sink, uh, which has always been all my cats, but um, if you have one that likes that, uh, they'll probably like this little fountain here because uh, it's very reminiscent of that. Now you can see it just turned off and then to activate it again, you just need that motion sensor um, to trigger it. Now, I'm going to be quiet here real quick, see if you can hear this. You cannot hear the pump. It is super quiet, which is really, really nice. So if you have a skittish cat um, that's kind of nervous about hearing a pump run, you're not going to hear that with this. This thing is super, super, super quiet. Now, everything is hand wash here, but it is made of BPA-free material. Um, and like I mentioned, it does have that filter if you wish to use it. If you don't want to, you don't have to use that little filter right there. To change the modes, you're just going to press the power button, and then it's going to turn on the timer mode if you want to utilize that. Um, that is basically the kind of ins and outs of this little pet fountain. If I think it's unique versus a lot of other pet fountains out there, the fact that it has no cords means you can really set it anywhere in your house. You don't have to be tethered to a power outlet, which is really nice. Um, and that's basically it. So if there is something that you're curious about that I didn't cover, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And uh, until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.